Welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. Original Lady Eve Elements to Row LLC. Let's get it. So for the month of April, airy season, hot, fiery, and passionate. But it also could be thrown off balance by being um, overwhelmingly controlling. Okay. Y'all Aries out there, male and female, masculine and feminine. Take it how it resonates, please. If you're going to share your essence, your energy with sexual encounters, wrap it up. All right? It's for my Aries people. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. This is the season. Okay? There may be a lot of one-night stands in the month of April. <clears throat> going into May. Also, again, if you're going to share your, your essence with someone, make sure you really don't share your energy with someone. Wrap it up during your sexual encounters. Because some of you may attract people that I call creeps. People that are energy vampires. People that want to cipher off your energy and then become attached to you or to your light. This is for those that are light workers. Now, let's get into it. Let's see. So, everybody knows that when I do my readings, when spirit has a message to say, I don't control the message. I let the messages be, and they come out. Therefore, I interpret whatever comes out in divination, any and all forms of divination. Okay, so now spirit, holy spirit. Because I don't say spirit also. I also have to correct myself on that one. Because the reason why you see me saying Holy Spirit in most of my readings. Because that's what I'm calling upon for. My clear, uncut, deliverable answers to you collective. Okay? I don't just say spirit. Because you be calling on anybody. And any spirit walking past you. Especially if you ain't protected or called on your protection. Or have spiritual protection. To block the outside energies and entities that, that are not of your tribe. Your spiritual tribe. You can encounter any energy. I don't know why I keep getting that movie in Sitges right now, but anyway. Okay, so, yeah. I'm channeling something about the five keys. Go watch that movie in Sitges. It um, has something to do with unlocking something, unlocking doors. Uh, yes, I'm channeling right now. The five keys, something about unlocking your potential in love, unlocking opportunities, unlocking doors to love, unlocking your heart chakra. So let's get it. Okay. Anything for the collective in love in the month of April. Also, <clears throat> as Persephone ascends from Hades, welcome on board, Persephone. Okay. She welcomes in the spring. She returns in the winter. Can I take this one? Yes, you can. Okay. Ooh, that felt okay. <laughs> what I tell you? It fell right on the floor. <laughs> I kid you not. I'll make this shit up. Passion. Passion. All right. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So we got the card of passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Some of you are, I don't know, I just have to put this out there. Some of you are just happy having one night stand. You don't want no attachments. You're pretty much single in your own right or within your own right. You like being single, most of you collective out there. You got out of a bad situation, okay? Practicing self-love, self-care, but you also out there sing, Um, How do we put it? Single ready to mingle. Single as a Pringle. But you're being passionate. I see a lot of sexual encounters in current. Please wrap it up. Practice safe sex. Don't be dumb. I don't care how high some of you may get out there or for whatever you get high off of. Wrap it up. Okay. There's a lot of passion. Mm -hmm. Some of you could be meeting uh, feminine energy with wavy dark brown hair. Black hair. Some of you could be meeting a uh, six foot, six foot one, six, no, taller than six foot two, tall, light-skinned, handsome-looking brother, or Latino. Some of you Caucasian. 
Okay, this person may wear a man bun. It's not going to resonate with anybody. This person may wear a man bun, wear his hair out. Okay, if that's the type that you like at these guys here. This is a man's man. There's a lot of chemistry. A lot of chemistry. I don't know. Let me angle this. Shh, ish. Hold on. That light is glaring. Chemistry. So now we have passion and we have chemistry. So I see you two individuals collective will be getting very intimate. I'm hearing on a daily basis for most of you out there that can handle that like me. Daily basis. I'm celibate though. That was back in the day. <laughs> Until the crack of dawn. But um Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some of you fellas may meet someone at a club that has a red dress on. Others of you may meet a fella out there that has um either brown khaki jeans, blue denim jeans, um, and a brown hoodie, or like a mustard colored hoodie. There's another masculine here that could also have, uh, I don't know if that's reddish brown hair, probably reddish brown hair. So, yeah. Others of you could be meeting a Caucasian feminine that has dusty blonde hair. But again, like I said, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. So there's a lot of sexual chemistry that's here, okay? It's sexual chemistry. There's a lot of passion being shared between you two individuals. Anything else collective needs to know? This is what's going on in the month of April 2022, by the way. Mm -hmm, they popping like a popcorn. It says free yourself, okay? So we have it's time to take back control of your life. All right, make sure you're in control of all areas of your life, not just your love life, okay? Be in control when it comes to the consistency of whatever this is, whether you want this to go into a full-blown relationship, whether this is a relationship now that you're dealing with or one-night stand. Make sure you're in control of this, okay? Take back control of your life, especially in the areas of love, with regards to your heart chakra or when dealing with your heart chakra. If you know it's only going to be a one-night stand, don't fall in love with this individual. Especially if it's only a one-night stand. Okay? A lot of playtime in the bed. Room. I see here. Mm -hmm. Someone for quite some time has been celibate. And now they're meeting their match, their energetic match in the bedroom. Is what I see here. What else, spirit? We got forgiving and learning in the reverse position. So, some of you are having a one night stand because you still haven't forgave the person. That you are in a relationship with. Because we got forgiven and learning in the reverse, right? As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. But this is not love. This is just sex. Basically, it's lust. Lust and love are two different things, baby. Understand? All right? Some of you are still holding on to some demons here. From, again, a relationship that you recently got out of, most recently got out of, or broke up a year ago. Okay? Maybe even a week ago, a month ago. Several months back. You need to let that go. You need to heal from this. Even if you can't give the person to their face and y'all not speaking with one another, you need to forgive anyway, right? Write that down and burn it. And release that energy. Because you're holding on to energy. See, this is, this is all energy. This would be the energy of you and your person, all right? It's still lingering, still attached to your aura, still lingering. Some of you probably still dream of that argument at night or during the day. You're probably still thinking of that argument you and your past person had. And then you're letting this control you, okay? You're letting it control you. Release that. You need to release that, Okay? Because I see you holding on to that energy, and then you're going out trying to find the next best thing that's better than your person, but it's only ending up in one night stand or a several, a couple of one night stands. Okay. Mm, that's what we don't do. Okay. Anything else for the collective? 
<clears throat> Holy Spirit, anything for the collective and love, April 2022. Okay, what's this? Yeah, some of you out there may have been dealing with a Sagittarius or you are a Sagittarius, someone arising and you feel like you feel you don't deserve love, okay? Again, that's that energy of forgiving and learning. You haven't yet released that energy. You haven't forgave what has occurred in your love life. Whether that's past or recent past, you haven't forgave. And because you still, like I said, holding on to that energy... You just willy nilly going all out, want have a one night stands or sleeping with someone else's person that you may know, and that's just a no no right there. You you don't feel lovable. You don't you don't feel lovable because you don't love yourself. You don't need someone to make you feel lovable. You have to do that on your own, darling. Okay, you have to love yourself on your own, and then other people will start to come in and love you. See, energy attract energy, right? If you don't feel lovable, you're going to attract the very same energy from outside people who don't love themselves. And then y'all going to end up, what? Having passion and chemistry, sexual, sexual, magnetic attraction, one eye stands. Because you're attracting someone who's on the same energetic level as you. Okay. Now, here we have romantic feelings, right? Your feelings are real and worth exploring. That I put up there with that passion and chemistry. Because you you don't feel so lovable. You feel, I deserve to feel lovable. Even though I don't feel it. But you're over there developing feelings for a one night stand. Stop it. I see talking, a lot of pillow talk. Okay. Or conversing. So some of y'all know who this person is that you have a one night stand with. That's the energy that I'm getting. Right? Now, if you're in a relationship, give your relationship a chance is what spirit is asking. Talk to your person. Because I see that your person, for some of those that are having a tiff in the relationship, but you haven't actually broken up, so you're not single. For those that are in relationships, having a hard time with it, right? Um, your guardian angels, your gods, your ancestors, whoever you believe in, even yourself. Is saying that you need to have a heart to talk conversation with this individual because the feelings are still there. The feelings are still mutual. You're just mad at each other. So work on it. Okay? Give your relationship a chance. Some of you feel like the individual is just using you for your body. Could be right, could be wrong. We don't know. Make the effort, though. We got to make the effort here. Give it a relationship a chance, heart to heart conversation, romantic feelings. Yeah. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So basically, Give me a second. My thing is entangled. <laughs> Entanglements. Yeah. Okay. Some of you, I'm feeling energetically because I channel entanglements when I looked at my bracelet. If y'all are in an entanglement, meaning third party situation, there's someone that stepped outside the box, which is the relationship. Someone stepped outside this relationship. Because they were sexually attracted to someone else. Right? Not able to control their urges. Because they, they have an issue with you. They felt like you're not loving them enough. So they went towards the third party. Right? The person that... Your person collective that went towards the third party still has feelings for you. Alright? There needs to be a conversation between you and this person that cheated on you with a third party. But I see forgiving and learning is in the reverse. Someone's not forgiving someone for this. Okay? But spirit is asking, give it a chance and make that effort. This is the great love that you sought for before, right? Uh, give me one more card. I saw that card. What else? You need to work on your relationship. And it ain't going to be an easy task. It's going to be a long-ass, winding, twisted road. Because someone decided they want to step out because they were interested sexually in someone else. You wanted to dip into someone else's vanilla or chocolate. You wanted to taste a different flavor of the month. Okay. 
Someone here probably got tired of the same flavor every day and decided to dip out because they felt that that flavor wasn't giving them enough passion and love and chemistry and all, all that they desire. But, honey, this goes both ways. Okay, the reason why that person probably wasn't giving you love, um, talking to the collective's person. The reason why the collective wasn't giving you love is because you wasn't giving it back. It goes both ways, baby. Someone here is in a codependent energy here. Someone could be codependent on a third party. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Someone's getting high with a third party. Someone's getting high with a third party. That's for some of y'all out there. For others of y'all, someone is addicted sexually to the third party. Passion, chemistry. And then the third party is over here developing feelings for your person and talking to them. Possibly trying to get y'all to break up if the third party is aware that this person is in a relationship with you, whether you are married in a situation, courting, dating, whatever. But y'all been together for a while. And this third party is only someone that they are around, hang out with. It's a friend, a co-worker, whoever this third party may be, right? Healing family issues. Yeah, you and your person have a family together. You may have one kid. You may have two kids. Some of y'all have one kid together. I see the masculine energy's ancestors looming over and watching everything that they do. So if the collective is feminine energy, the collective you are dealing with a masculine energy that stepped out on you. And the third party that stepped out on you is very codependent on them. For money, I hear finances. I hear uh, <clears throat> sexual addictions here and drug addictions here as well as alcoholic addictions. Take what resonates, leave the less behind. So basically, there's no healing in this situation. All right? Hurt people hurt people, right? The way I see it. And this codependent energy that this third party may have towards your person or vice versa, okay? Flip the roses, they apply. Healing family issues and codependency. This person needs to go heal themselves. Your love life benefits that you forget. There's no forgiveness in it. We got forgiveness and learning reverse. Healing family issues reverse and codependency. That a lot speaks... And tells the story itself. Okay. Someone or both parties that were in a relationship are not forgiving each other. And the third party and your person collective or collective, you're with the third party. Whatever's going on here. All right. Click the energies as they apply. Okay. There's a lot of addictions intervening in this connection. A lot of addictions. Now, collective, you could be having a codependent energy addicted to you or your person could be having a codependent energy addicted to them whatever it is that third party for you collective or your person is not healed and then you have you and your person together are not healed someone has children here okay someone has children here i can't even see that hold on that's just speaking 18 oh yeah my god Definitely, this is what's going on in love. This is the love messages. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a lot of healing that needs to occur, and, it, and it's not occurring. People are just being messy right about now. Someone being fake in a situation here. This could be that third party look just like this. No, I'm just playing. Mm -mm -mm. Artificial heart. Someone was being fake in the game right here. Someone was faking the funk. Okay? Could be you collective. Could be your person. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, this is the third party that's faking. The third party is artificial. That 12, 1 and 2 is 3. This is the third party. This third party is being fake. Whatever this conversation is, that third party is having with you, or that third party is having with your person, it's, it's, it's very robotic. It's very fake. It's artificial. It's completely artificial. The talking is artificial. The pillow talk is artificial. They may think they have feelings for your person, but they really don't. You need to stay optimistic about your situation here. Okay, here. Hold on. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and thoughts will, uh, and faith will bring you romance, okay? Now, it's up to you, Collective, if you want this romance back or if you don't. But there's a lot of codependent energy here. This is sexual addictions. With that passion, that chemistry, that free yourself, someone doesn't know how to control themselves when it comes to sex. 
okay? Someone could be addicted to watching porno. They could be even developing romantic feelings for a porn star, okay? Take it how it resonates. But you collective or your person needs to stay optimistic. There's a lot of communication that needs to be had here. What else does the collective need to know? One more. Mm-hmm. Some of you, this could be your soulmate you're dealing with. Your soulmate is dealing with a third party. They look like they're trying to be optimistic and want to come in and communicate with you. But again, there's a lot of codependency between your person and that third party. Or this could be you. Collective. Yeah, there's a lot of sexual addictions here. Yeah, there's deception here. Who's being deceptive? Give me this. Soulmate deception. You could also... There could also be some self-deception here. Where this third party thinks that this is their soulmate. We got soulmate, deception, and then we got artificial heart. And then we got staying optimistic about your love life. Yeah, this third party with the fake ass heart. They don't love nobody. They don't even love them damn selves. They're their selves. They're trying to convince themselves that your person is their soulmate. Because they have sex, the same chemistry, right? But this is all fun and games, playfulness. This is a game player. This person likes to play games a lot. And this this person's playfulness is all about a wedding, all right? If y'all not married, this third party may convince your person to disconnect from you, divorce you, leave you and the kids or whatever, so that they can have a relationship with it. Because remember, I said this person, this third party, thinks that your person is their soulmate. So <clears throat> they may want to marry your person. They could even be married to your person. If you're already um, in separation. If you're in separation with your person, your person went out and married this person. So Spirit is asking you to release your ex. Release this person. Time has come to clear your energy from this person. Leave them where they be. Leave them where they be. And in the inside. Because in the end, that third party is going to be a colorless okay. angel. Wow. Because this is not their true love. True love is in the reverse. They only being used. The temple of my body. This is a prostitute. Stripper, prostitute. Someone that uses their body to get what they want. It's like the player's club. We use who we got to get what we want. That's how this person is like a, a ghetto person person's very ghetto this is not past life relationship again this is not that third party's soulmate they think it is and they want to believe it is but the spirits don't lie they're saying that this person that your person collective is not this person's soulmate they're not soulmates they're sex mates there's a difference 